San Monani Dumelang Sin Chao. My name is Judicious Masugu and I am happy that you click on this video. Uh, the purpose of this video, let me just go straight to the point. The purpose of this video, it is to highlight the reasons why you should come and teach in, in Taiwan. Uh, today is Friday the 1st, I mean the 30th of September. Uh, Wednesday the 28th of September marked exactly 14 days of me being in Taiwan. So I am two weeks and two days in Taiwan. But I have seen a lot to make a comment especially in terms of why people should come. Those who have BA degree should come and teach in Taiwan. Uh, reason number one, why you should come to teach in Taiwan. Reason number one, support. There is a great support system here. Like, I don't want to lie. Support start from when you are still back at home when you are still preparing for, for, for your documents to come to Taiwan. Uh, you've got support from your agent. They will do anything and everything to make sure that the transition is smooth. Uh, when you arrive here, okay, there are two major agents that I know that recruit for Taiwan. One is Teach Taiwan. And the other one is Phoenix, Phoenix Group Asia. So I came through Phoenix Group Asia. <laughs> What's going on here? Okay, I came through Phoenix Group Asia. The amount of support that they give to the teachers is so tremendous. Like, guys... And then when I got to school, these people, Taiwanese people are so nice, warm, and welcoming. They are friendly. They are hospitable. Their hospitality is on another I level. came back from class and In South Africa, uh, they uh, will tell you that candies. you are at work. Don't be a mother to other people. Sweet. You know. But here... They made sure that uh, I uh, I feel welcome. Uh, they did not put uh, too much pressure on my first week. My first week was just for orientation. And there's mentorship and coaching. As you arrived, already there are people assigned to take care of you as a foreign teacher. You unlike in south africa like i love my country i love south africa south africa is home it raised me it made me the person i am today but you my first year of teaching hey i fell into a mini depression <laughs> and also guys in South Africa, you are thrown into a deep end and you'll have to find a way to swim and make a way out. Because on the first day you come, uh, you are expected to go to class with 67 uh, uh, learners in the class. Pella, I'm ready because... The university does not prepare us from, for the real world. In university, we are told 1 is to 25. One teacher is to 25 learners. In reality, it's 40, 35 and above in the public school in South Africa, especially in the big cities like Gauteng and, 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 and Cape Town. It is rare that you will find a class where there are 28 learners in South Africa. No, even in, in the rural areas like in Pumalang, uh, I almost mentioned <laughs> the school. So here, uh, you get the support in terms of you are not thrown into the deep end. There are planning meetings, 
they highlight the expectation and tell you uh what you're gonna be doing for the week and the next week what is their expectation and also everyone just open their arms wide open to uh, open their eyes wide to welcome you so i love the fact that there's a great support uh, uh, number two efficiency and convenience wow guys like wow wow okay at taiwan uh my tourist visitors they, my tourist <laughs> visitors they're still not allowed so you come to taiwan you have to quarantine for three plus four days so the third days you are indoors and the four days you can like do uh, essential things from the airport there is a bus that is going to take you to the city where you're supposed to be it doesn't matter whether the drive is four hours or the drive is two hours or the drive is 30 minutes but there is a bus allocated for people who are entering taiwan just imagine and then there they give you like self-covid test for free public transport system the train affordable uh, convenient it's not like after an hour like after 10 minutes after 10 minutes there is a train even buses the same uh, there's uber and like you can like i got myself a scooter because i love scooters you can get a scooter you can get an e-bike you can ride a bicycle convenience in transport guys i told you that i arrived a so 14 days on wednesday now is my 16th day i already have a bank card i already have medical aid i already have taiwan id in less than a month everything is sorted medical aid id and 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 the bank card everything is sorted now i feel fully settled in taiwan okay number number three i'll make this as uh, the last one because my storage is for niami iapela storage i'll make this the uh, last one work life balance ha this one i like it yo in south africa i had out of 27 hours i had 26 for one year the other years i did not have a period a free period at all mind you uh, there's mind you large number of learners in the classroom so you don't have a free period and <coughs> the duration is the duration of a period is one hour so six hours you are with these learners you are expected to plan to mark and to to moderate to do zonke zazindo you are anna and because you want you don't have admin periods uh, during the week you are forced guess she's a guys yo 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 you are forced to carry a uh, the the work home weekends you are busy marking you are busy planning so uh, it's a lot but here okay let me delete some few things Okay, I'm sat nego thing to nego pig. Then sakulumang your work life balance. Let's see. Eh, you work life balance like you've got a lot of time. Okay. In Taiwan we spend longer hours in the school. But that is because there is a two hour break. Uh, the one hour is for eating and the one hour is for just for learners and teachers to take a break be eaten uh, by taking a nap or doing whatsoever that you feel like will refresh you going on you know so like in my, in my school uh so the school day starts at at like 
eight o'clock for the teachers and it ends at half past four during that time you can do all that you need to do you can mark your script you can do the planning so that you don't take work home and on weekends weekends are yours to do your life you know to do your personal things your family things and yeah even the evenings like when you knock off at four you know that you're going to work you're going home to do absolutely nothing I binge watch uh, YouTube podcasts and vlogs and talk shows, TED Talks, and what else? Yeah, talk shows, speeches. Like, I know every speech Chimamanda Ngozi has given. I know every speech Professor Mamokhiti Pakeng has given. Like, I listen to Joshua Maponga. I listen to Mandabani. So, yeah. That's it, you guys. I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you soon. Bye. Oh, another thing that I wanted to comment on. The kids are the sweetheart. They are so sweet like you guys. Firstly, no discipline uh, problems. Kids are kids. They are mischievous. And sometimes they misbehave way too. But no long normal. We will see it's kids. Drugs. No. I'm saying give any more drugs. Maybe I'm saying give But I'm saying give any more drugs. Oh, another thing. Safety. Safety. Now, what's the time? I think the time is past 8 p.m. I'm still going to go out and look for something to eat. And I'm going to walk free. Like, his safety is on another level. He's safe here. So, I love the safety and I love, I like the escape. I have escaped load shedding. I have escaped in high prices in petrol, in food. Cape Town. No! Oh! It's becoming ridiculously expensive buying a house renting a house accommodation is on another level in cape town they want to kill us so yeah man there are so many reasons that langa uh, gwenda would see you come to taiwan obviously and like if people are sick they home, you can go and check them. But I will talk. Most of the video was uh, about things that I like about Taiwan. And have a great evening. Bye. I came back from class and found this uh, coffee candies. <coughs> Sweet. I want to try. <laughs> It's afternoon and the kids they know. See how clean the school is, and it's all them. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. Are you fine? Thank you. I'm fine. Thank you. I'm fine. You are cleaning. Are you cleaning? Yes. Okay. Yes. Enjoy. <laughs>